Hey there Titans, welcome to Form Titan Basics. In this video we will discuss the dynamic PDF with the interactive mode. So we have here a simple form that grabs in the opportunity by a lookup and grabs the opportunity products for that opportunity. Let's take a look at our Salesforce integration, the get settings, so we're grabbing the opportunity by the lookup and by the lookup value which is the opportunity ID and we're grabbing all the products for that opportunity take a look and we're mapping the opportunity products into a section let's take a look at our push so once we're submitting the the form it will create an attachment and content version which is a file for the lightning the lightning environment and uh, let's take a look at our PDF mapping document generation Click added on the PDF. So I created a HTML template here for the dynamic mode. It grabs in the opportunity information, uh, pulls in the data, uh, the product data into a table. So we'll repeat uh, whatever data we got, whatever product we got. Let's take a look at our, um, let's publish our form and see how it looks like now. So let's search an opportunity, let's say edge. And I have my PDF to preview before submit, and this is how it looks like now. Now let's say that we want the customer to insert on this uh, window some comments, and we want the customer to sign the PDF as well. Let's take a look and see how this can be done. So first thing, let's add a signature, and let's add a text area for the comments as well. Just duplicate this one, it's text area as well. We'll call this customer comments. Add back to our PDF. So we'll insert the customer comments over here. We'll apply this and let's insert our signature under that give it height and width let's do 200 by 200 and now as the fun part let's head over to our settings click interactive mode We'll configure this and we'll select our customer comments and our signature and we'll make them both mandatory. Apply this. One more thing, let's go to our elements here to the signature and the comments. We'll do high pair device, save our form and refresh it, search edge again, let's preview before submit, and let's click finish, and Form Titan tells me that this is a mandatory field, so let's put in some information, some our comments, and try again, and we can see that the signature is mandatory as well. Let's sign this, apply, finish. Form Titan submitted our form. Let's head to our integration logs so we can find it quickly. We can see that we have the attachment created. Let's take a look at the attachment. View the file. And we can see that we have the customer comments and our signature as well. And this is how it's done.